Okay, grade two, this is the second um, science video. I want us to take a look at what, we took a look yesterday very quickly at what amphibians look like. Uh, but today I want us to look at the specific types of amphibians so that you are able to draw pictures of them. So, oh, not a rock. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Uh, okay. So this is what a frog looks like. I think all of you know what frogs look like. But just here, so that you can see. Uh, if you want, you could pause um, the video on your Swan Curlica worksheet. You can redraw one of these frogs that look the nicest to you. <gasps> this is a very cute one. Ew, ew, ew. I don't want to show you that. Gross. Oh, baby frogs on a frog. That's really cute. I thought they didn't... I thought they didn't take care of their babies. Cool. There's Kermit. <laughs> oh, it's a tiny frog on a frog. That is very cute. Okay. So, I'm going to leave it on these frogs for a little while you can pause choose one and then you can draw the frog five-legged green tree frog sorry I have to go in here quickly why does it have five legs why does it have five legs five wait 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 I actually want to <gasps> oh okay Oh, oh, it's not a type of frog. It's just one specific frog who had five legs. That's... Okay. All right, so <clears throat> those are our frogs. I'm moving on to the next one. The next one, they say, is a newt. Let's take a look at what is a newt. What does a newt look like? These are the cute, cutest little things. Oh, look at it! Oh, look at it in the, in the water. This is cute. What is happening? What is this one doing? Gymnastics. <laughs> this newt is doing gymnastics. Oh, look at this little buddy. Oh my word, you guys. Okay. So you can pause whenever you see a picture that you would like to draw. And then you can go ahead and draw it. This one is chilling in the water. Look at its tail even. It looks like a fin. It looks like the, the tail of a tadpole. So it obviously helps the newt to swim in the water. But not all of their tails look like that, I see now. This is so cute, but I really don't want to touch them. They look slimy. I don't like slimy. Wow, look at this one's tail. That's insane. Okay, so when you see a picture that you like of a newt, you can pause, and then you can go ahead and draw it on your one Curlica page. Good, the next one that they give us is a mud puppy. That sounds very cute. I don't know if it's going to be cute. Oh, okay. Well, not as cute as I was... Um, not as cute as I was expecting, but okay. It seems they have little ears like this that come out next to the side. A mud puppy. Oh, and they don't have legs. Oh, they do have legs. They do have legs. But where's this one's leg? I was just looking at one picture. Oh, my word. Look at it from the front. It does. It has three little... Things that go up by its side that look like um, ears. Mud puppy. This is so interesting. So this is... Oh, sorry. So this is what a mud puppy looks like. Oh, this, this is not what a mud puppy looks like. Please don't draw this. <laughs> is this lady holding one? Oh my word. <laughs> Look, they gave us a mud puppy. <laughs> this is adorable. 
animal, but that's not what I mean. This isn't the animal that I'm looking for. But oh my word, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just the cutest thing ever. It's a mud puppy. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Sorry. That's not what this is about. If you... Ooh, this one. Uh, okay. That one is way too happy. Maybe you shouldn't do that. That <laughs> caught me off guard. Okay. So that's what a mud puppy looks like. It seems like they have three little things that come out by the side of their head with what looks like fur. And they have a tail that can help them swim in water because most of these, it seems, actually live in the water. Good. The next one that they ask is a toad. A toad. A toad looks like a frog, but I think a toad is just a very... Um, Thick, big, <laughs> this one looks super unimpressed with his life. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Common toad. I think toads are the ones that we see here by us. We don't see a lot of frogs. I don't know. Why is this person holding him so mean? A bat toad? No, that can't be real. No, I don't think that's real. Okay, so these are toads. Yeah, these are toads that we have by us. We don't have frogs, we have toads. Because then I've caught a lot of toads in my life. Okay, so these are what toads look like. They are just very thick. <laughs> the kind of, kind of cute. In a, in a weird way, as in, like this. You can't tell me that doesn't look cute, the way that they're holding it and everything. But then when it's sitting like this, it's like, mm, no. No, maybe we, maybe we shouldn't be friends. Ooh, this one looks very angry. Okay, so that's what a toad looks like. Then we go to the next one, salamander. Salamander. A salamander. Oh, that's why everyone was asking why. what's the difference between a newt and a salamander, because they look a lot alike. A salamander. But I thought this was a mud puppy. How do you know the difference? Okay, so a salamander basically looks like a newt, just black, but they're not just black. Hold on, hold on. Come on, man. Computer. Okay, apparently it doesn't want to listen to me. Hello? Okay, let's just give it a second to respond. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Oh. What is happening? Why is it? <clears throat> okay, well, my computer is being very slow now. Alright, alright, let's just do that. Let's keep that one there. Um, what is the difference between a newt and a salamander? Newts are a type of salamander. Oh, okay, so most newts have webbed feet. And a paddle like tail, which make it easier to live in water. So it seems newts live in the water, are more prone to live in the water than salamanders. Salamanders typically have longer and more rounded tails with well developed toes for digging in soil. Okay. Okay, that's cool. 
So that's the difference between a newt and a salamander. Newts, do you remember we looked at the tail of the newt and we said, okay, it kind of looks like a tadpole's tail? So, okay, that's, that's what the difference is between a newt and a salamander. I'm just going to close that one page because it's annoying me. Um, that's what the difference is between a newt and a salamander. A salamander um, more typically lives on land and it has the toes that it uses to dig in the ground, whereas a newt, um, whereas a newt has the webbed feet and the thicker tail so that it can easily swim in the water. The last one that I wanted to show you was a Sicilian. Sicilian. When my computer stops being slow, uh, then I can show you. This is extremely annoying. I apologize. Come on. I'm sorry for this. While, while you wait, you can color your pictures, I guess. not responding. Yeah, but why? <sighs> Sorry, I just want to see if I can just... get some of my things closed. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I just want to show the last one, which is a Sicilian. I'm really hoping it comes together.